Okay, so I've been doing some tweaking in the code for this game, and it's taken me <laughs> a little bit. I still haven't gotten everything figured out. I, for some reason, was able to change the sigil of the kingdom title to this, uh, which I think is the House Piper um, and, you know, Stony Sept, where we started, I guess, and Pink Maiden, where we started. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out exactly how to make it so that uh, it's our custom sigil. Um, I know all the code, it's just, it's a matter of trying it and getting it all worked out there. Um, so, yeah, let's jump into this one. Okay, our guardian is currently this High Valyrian um, who is a dragon rider. She's our master at arms, I believe. Um, or she's a sworn shield. She's actually not our master of arms. I don't want her to leave. Um, and I would like to at least establish some semblance of marriage ties over uh, over here. I, I don't think I'm able to do that with any of her siblings, necessarily. But she does have a daughter... Um, and currently not in my court, and controlled, I believe, by her father, I assume, wherever her father's at. Um, so I'm going to see if I can assign Guardian, and they'll accept... Oh, they will. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to see if they'll accept the Guardianship and bring them over. Same thing with maybe the son. Is there a better son? This kid's four. Let's try that. Um, oh, they're currently considering another offer. So I'm gonna see if I can bring the son in too, and see if if that works out to marry into uh, and get some high Valyrian stuff going on in this. I know that's not super high priority right now, but I mean, it, the game's kind of worked it out to where we can work on that. So let's uh, let's see if we can make it work. But before they arrive, look. It looks like we've got a fabricated claim on the High Lordship of Rosby. 137 gold. Hmm. I mean, we're going to have to do it because we need a reason to go to war with them. Claims against them are always good. They're not going to like it, and I'm going to go into the, the red for a little while. Let's do it. Let's do it and see exactly what happens. Yeesh. As you ride through the empty corridors of your castle on your trusty wooden stick horse, you come across, across your regent, Lord Ellard of Akern Hall, getting some fresh air on a balcony with his back turned to you. I can kill my regent. I don't know why I would do that. He likes me. 50% chance he dies. 50% chance he's wounded and mad as hell, quote unquote. No, I'm a good lad. All right, so we need to hurry up and get back some of this money. Look, okay, so here we go. Here's the the guardianship, okay? Um... Let's see if we can arrange a marriage. There's uh, Atreus. Arrange betrothal. Let's see if we can do it. Before we go about breaking the betrothal, let's see if we can even do it. Yeah. There's no suitable... Alright, let's check this girl. She's technically on our court, right? she is but her liege is still up there okay that's what i thought would happen but i wasn't 100 percent sure so any of of this girl's kids are not in my court technically unless i um send for them uh to be tutored and even then i don't have control over their marriage so and they won't accept offers of betrothal i don't believe so Yeah, they won't. Differences of religion, something like that. Okay, well let's uh, let's hope our gold replenishes quickly. We can deal with the prestige hit, I think. But let's hope our gold replenishes quickly. Now we're gonna start running into issues, I think. Uh, end all invasion. 
4,000 men is not that bad. Let's see what kind of military stuff we can raise. I'm going to hit control to make sure I don't raise any armies where there's enemies. I raise myself. Actually, hold on. Let's dismiss all of our levies right here. Um, I need to see if I can unite the high lordships or create the high lordships. Let me see if I can do that really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the issue with high lordship creation. According to the game rules, you need to control 51% of de jure co uh, counties in order to create the title. Currently, I control 75, 3 out of 4. Um, but, special creation conditions. Because the game rule high lordship creation requirement is on, I need to directly own a province in the high lordship of Blackwater Rush in order to create the high lordship. I can't just create it because I'm the king. I, I think I like that rule because, at least in terms of my, uh, at least in terms of my uh, the 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 kingdoms I'm competing with, I don't want them to have an advantage as well. Luckily, I was able to create high lordships as I went along for some of my counties. I don't know if I want to be able to create the High Lordship for this. Hey, leave me a comment down below if you, if you think I should change that rule, um, at least in terms of this. Um, because I guess technically if, if we created this High Lordship, we would have de jure um, interest in Rayonette. And we'd be able to declare war on Rosby for that. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to leave it for now, and uh, just leave a comment down below what you think about it. I, I kind of like the rule, uh, just at first glance. I'm going to have to think about it more to find out exactly how I feel about it. So, um, But in the meantime, we still have this Andal invasion that we have to deal with. So I'm going to raise up armies in Castlewood, where there is not bloody flux. I'm going to raise up armies right here. I'm going to raise up my own personal holdings. That gives us enough men... I'm going to continue to raise up in this general vicinity so that we can combine forces before they arrive. And hopefully what we'll do is we'll trap them. Let's have them meet here. Actually, let's have them meet here so we don't face a crossing penalty. They only have to go to two counties before they arrive, so hopefully we can move really quickly. I hope. Um, I write to express my uh, castration at the fact that Jamos Piper enjoys command at your armies. Uh, Justin Milkeye. That's fine. Make a good point. I'm okay with that decision. I stand head and shoulders above the other children, and why should I pretend otherwise? So I gain the, the trait proud. Okay. And I've always loved playing with others, and I still do. So I gain Gregarious from Playful. Uh, that's that's fine. I like Gregarious. So they're stopping there at at, uh, at Faring's Cross. Okay, all of our armies are amassing. Good, okay, so that's 6,800. Let's merge. Um, Carlin in the middle is fine. Hoster on the edge is fine. And then Justin... Oh, actually, I'm going to have Justin lead the middle because he's a organizer. Okay, so we outnumber them by quite a bit of men already. Organizer should mean that we can get a good, good jump on them. We can travel really quickly. I don't think they're going to be able to move. And I'm just going to have to keep a close eye on the battle. Okay, good. We've smashed them already. Uh, the problem with these Andal invasions are what makes it difficult, and I guess it's this way for a lot of these uh, adventurer claims, is that the you have to defeat all of their armies. Oh, a second one? Are you kidding me? 
How is that possible? Okay, so I'm going to give up the chase on this. Because they're going to come back to our county and they're going to... Oh man, we almost lost there. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. Uh, this, yeah, this was definitely the more pressing of the two. This guy's going to Dalston Keep, so I am actually going to wait. I'm not going to chase. I'm going to wait till he arrives in Dalston's Keep, and then I'm going to uh, and let my morale recover a little bit, and then I'm going to uh, attack them. Come on. Okay, that's enough. Let's... Okay. I'm saying okay a bunch. I need to stop that. Let's travel up to Byford. Our morale should recover enough while we're traveling that we should be able to hit them very hard. This is some cheese, guys. I'm just saying. We've gone back into the red because we have two adventurer claims. Two Andal invasions at once. Okay, I need to... Ooh, look at this. My Master Arms tells me that one of my commanders, Lothar, has improved significantly. So Lothar has a chance of gaining two or three Marshall. That's fantastic. Okay, so we need to pick a focus for Prince Alex. There we go. Oh, look, we got our adult portrait. We kind of have this Rob Stark look going. I can dig that. Well, in just a little bit, actually, we're going to get our uh, commander trait. Oh, good. Yeah, we're, we're set. Her learning is 18. Yeah. We're set. I, I wish we would improve our, our combat ability. And we still have Willful, so I'm hoping Willful turns into Ambitious or Brave. Actually, I guess Ambitious, Brave, Authoritative are all good. And our Marshal's really good. Our Marshal could actually be up to 20. It's a base of 9. That's fantastic. Okay. Let's uh, let's actually start raising up some of these levies to reinforce some of the levies that we didn't ra uh, raise up before. This one in particular, and uh, we're heading all of them to Farings Cross. We'll combine, and then what I think I'm going to do. The reason my goal is is dipping down is because I have my own personal levies raised, so I'm going to dismiss those. I think we have enough men. Okay, I'm going to pay 14 to my regent. Will we be able to leave before that? Twentieth of September. No, okay. That's weird. We're going to I guess we're going to disband these units. That's weird. Gonna merge those. Um, what what personal levies do I have invested? Eighteen hundred. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that at least saves me some gold. Hopefully, we can recover quickly. They're going to King's Landing, so we'll go to King's Landing. Shouldn't technically be King's Landing, but it is. All right, so we won that battle. That's good. And we actually are able to offer peace and force demands on that one. Uh, they're heading to Faring Cross. We will actually head to Langward Hall, cut them off, and then we'll curve up while our morale is improving. I'm a little bit nervous about our morale being this low before we go. Oh, our regency's over. I'm interested to see what we got. Brilliant commander. Check that out. That's fantastic. And I got brave. 
Brave improves Martial, Dual Skill Estimate, Dragon Taming Chance, Vassal Opinion. Brave is good. Not quite as good as Ambitious, but... Lord uh, Harbert, Harbert of Haraway's Town. I don't know who that guy is. Haraway's Town. Oh, that... I'll uh, make him disappear, I guess. Okay, our morale looks like it's improved enough, but here's the other side of it. Uh, where is he? Justin, you lead the middle. I will lead the side. Our, oh, our marshal's 25. That's fantastic. Carlin on the other edge. Oh, man, that's cool. Okay, so now we need to pick a focus, and our, our focus is going to be war. Because we're going to be expansionist with this king, um, I definitely want war as our, our as our action. The plus two marshal is is huge, but also the ability to uh, to have some of the ambitions like uh, expand Rome by conquest is specific to um, that that focus. Uh, Keeper of the Swans will make Justin Milk Eye. Uh, I'm just going to dish out some of these because to improve the opinions of our guys. Okay, that's fine. Everything looks good there. Now that I'm out of Regency, I'm able to kind of work a little bit. Still want negative three gold. Okay, we need to pick an ambition. Okay, if we, if we choose to win the war, which we're about to, we get one marshal. So that's a good, that's a good one to take for just a little bit. And we can press claims here in just a little while. We'll, we'll work that out in just a second. Okay. Amazing. This battle should, yep, put us over the edge. Offer peace, enforce demands. Sweet. And now we will disband that unit. Okay. And we won the war, so we got plus one marshal. Our marshal's up to 28. And we, <laughs> we are only a poor fighter. Is there a... Yeah, let's let's choose to improve combat ability. I want to become a better fighter. That'll give us some may, maybe some events to, to press forward with that. Man, that's awesome. And our learning is still at 10. It's a base of 10. That's awesome. Base 12, Marshall. What's our dual skill estimate? 6... That's cool. I like the overhaul that they did to this. There was some there was some issues with the dual skill modifiers, and uh, the way that they've done this now, it's uh, it's improved quite a bit. So we are an inspiring leader and a cavalry leader. Cool. Okay, now I need to look and see what kind of claims we can begin to press on Rosby and Duskendale. Those are going to be our, our two expansions right here. And then uh, we'll get into, we'll, we'll expand into Southstone. I need to check on what, what the wars I can declare up there. And then Maidenpool has kind of expanded north a little bit. I, I don't know that I want to do that quite yet. So, yeah. If I remember right, oh, Driftmark is, they're both that, okay. Oh, look, the, an Andal won. The Andals have taken the Stormlands. Wow. Did I already know that? I think I already knew that. I don't know why I'm so surprised by that. Hmm. So we need to find someone with claims on the Stormlands. What is that? That's that's Stannis's sigil. Okay. So this guy is 
Lord Paramount of the Hook, but doesn't have a liege. So he has the Kingdom of the Hook, which I assume is this up here. Okay. Well, that means that we need to... We need to try to get this guy the Stormlands again because these guys are right next to us. They can raise up 6,000 men. That's actually not that bad. I think we actually are able to raise up more men than that now. But right now they're a huge issue. But wait, what is this? These are all messed up. <laughs> These sigils are all messed up. I don't know what is happening. I probably did something messing with the, the, the code, but I did not mess with any of that stuff. That's hilarious. Okay. So that's confusing as crap, but um, yeah, that's where we're at right now. We need to try to see what uh, see what claims we have on the countries around us right now, or the, the kingdoms around us right now. So let me do that. I'll be right back. I think the first person I want to declare war on, just to get my feet wet a little bit, is this guy right here. He is the uh, king of Southstone. I don't know why he technically has a king t tier title, but um, I think if we if we deal with him properly, we can we can take it with relative ease. He can raise up 436 men. We can declare a war and claim it for our master of arms, claim Goldbrook. He has the lordship, the high lordship, and the kingdom, and that's it. So let's. That's Goldbrook. Let's claim right here. Stonehenge. Declaring war. I don't want to raise up my own levies. <laughs> because, uh... This guy hates me, too. Okay. But not that much. High heart... We can raise those guys up and these guys up, and already we're in pretty good shape to conquer. Let's uh, let's disband these. Okay, we'll move all these guys into place. Lord Argrave of Leicester. <laughs> Southstone. Okay. Um, let's let it be for now. I, I'm not going to have to worry about it here in just a minute. So they're merging their units. They have a lot of mounted units, which, which isn't good, I guess. Okay, we have Mild Winter. But we outnumber them significantly. So I will... I'll lead the middle. Because we don't have to travel very far. Uh, Hostra can be replaced. Is there a point in doing that? Oh, if by this formidable fighter, that's right. Okay. Let's do that. Let's smash... Decimated their armies. Okay, so we're going to set our crown focus, and we didn't already have that? I don't know why we didn't have that. Okay. And then, do we have a siege leader? We do. Carlin is a siege leader. So, Carlin, you'll now be in the middle, I'll be on the edge. We're just switching around a little bit. And we'll siege this province down. 20%? That was quick. 40%? Man, okay. This is this is going by really fast. Okay, won the siege, seventy-six percent. We can demand important prisoners from Carlin, which we're doing. Let her rot. Let her rot. 
she can stay where she is. 76%. Our gold's climbing back up. Ooh, our maester's doing a good job. Our sister is uh, now it's two stewardship and patient. All right, I'm waiting on this uh, this siege to finish. That should give us enough to win the war. I would I would think. If we are just a little bit patient. I don't know what they're doing down there. I guess he's trying to do whatever he possibly can. Could probably, uh... Nope. We still didn't win? What are you talking about? That's crazy. 96%? These guys are resilient. I'll give them that. Vassals are getting upset. What? The wall is under assault and the Night's Watch is hard-pressed to defend it. They have called on all the lords of the realm to take up arms and aid them in defending the realm from the dangers beyond the wall. Oh, King Beyond the Wall. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually became many, and time seems to slip away. Later, as you leave the council chamber, you stumble and fall on your face. You can taste the blood in your mouth, and dizziness is setting in. 5% chance that we die? What? I think I would owe a favor to somebody that comes and helps me. Yeah. At least it's Lord Ellard. At least he likes me. So he's not going to use it. And he's already my, like, the hand of the king. So, okay, we won this. Offer peace and force demands. So he still has the Lordship of Goldbrook. But if we disband these units... I think we can, uh, oh, it's saying we don't have Valley uh, Cassie's Billy, but we had one to claim Goldbrook. Maybe we just needed to wait a little bit. So we have all of his family in prison still. Who's his heir? We don't have him in prison. But we do have his wife. Set our crown focus in Bear Hall again for some reason. And it looks like our council got decimated a little bit. For some reason. I don't know if war. No, war didn't break up our kingdom at all. Okay, but we need to send our Master of Laws to fabricate claims in Rosby. That's what we need. Because so we need the next tier of claims. That's for sure. We do have claims to... Uh, we do have claims on Rosby. I think it's all going back in order now. Look. He's... Lord Wiles just doing it on his own. He's claiming Goldbrook for himself. Which I'm fine with. Let's uh, let's ransom all prisoners right now. See what they'll pay money-wise. We have some gold, but it's winter, so I don't want to make any improvements. We can declare war and claim Rosby, or we can wait for the. Or we can claim it for Justin Milkeye. What other lordships does this guy own? No other lordships. Hmm. We can claim it for Justin Milkeye. 
who I like and is a decent character. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's claim Rosby for Justin Milkai. And I have a claim on the High Lordship. Actually, let's wait. Let's wait because I want to see if I can get the uh, if I can get them to stack. But in the meantime, I am going to declare a de jure claim on Shoreham. Yeah, that's what I'll do. De jure claim on Shoreham. Raise up all of my levies and have them all go right here. Yeah, that makes them all avoid enemy territory. New Lord Commander on the wall. Lord Commander Benjin. Randomly generated character. He hasn't raised up any of his levies. That's strange. I wonder if there's a... There's no chance that he'll, like, roll over, is there? Alright, uh, Kyra's going to take the diplomatic education. Um, and did I just see Storm King? Yeah, Kyra's betrothed to the Storm King. Has the High Lordship of Summerfield, but no other titles. Oh, he does. Lordship of Adderdale, Sharp Point, Storm's End, High Lordship of Macy's Hook, High Lordship of Shipbreaker's Bay, and the Kingdom of the Stormlands. Oh. Oh, he is an Andal. That's right. Okay. I'm getting all kinds of confused right now. I've got my eggs in so many baskets. Being being in the center of the country, I, like I'm telling you, this is this is the the hard part. Being in the center of the country is difficult because you are surrounded by all on all sides by enemies, and it doesn't do anybody any good because you have to worry about so many different sides. Um, you don't want to fight a war on two fronts, obviously, that's just common sense, but it is, uh, it is difficult not to be whenever you have so many fronts that you can fight them on. So, anyways, we're going to siege down Rosby and begin, this, uh, begin to take this war a little bit more seriously. So I will, I will check back in with you a little bit um, as we go. Oh, hold on. Here's where things get interesting. I was about to stop recording, but look. This girl's husband died. Her kids still aren't in our court, but they will be, I think, after a little while, maybe? I don't know, but this girl wants to get married. She's 27. I'm I, I'm currently betrothed to someone up here in in Maiden Pool, and has quick. I want those traits for my kids because I'm strong. Hopefully, we can produce an heir that's both. But I will find you someone nice because I think I'm going to marry her or at least betroth her to Atreus. Arrange betrothal. Yep, there we go. And that way we have some cousins in the mix uh, to, that may have some High Valyrian in them and can uh, produce, breed some of those traits in. So yeah. Okay, now we will check back in just a minute because we are about to uh, siege down Rosby.